Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, the Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a wind spiral or a wind spino or a curly spino. And for this one, I've used my 100% cotton yarn and I've used my 3.5 mm of the hook. It's here, 3.5 mm of the hook. Now, for this particular spiral, now I've made this spiral in um, a small size, but if you want to make it in a bigger size, I will tell you into the video how to go on. And for this one, I've started off with the chains and uh, then I've made this first row, then second row and the third row. So here, I've made three different rows uh, to build up this spiral. Now, if you want, don't want to go like this and if you want to use an acrylic yarn instead of using this cotton yarn, uh, I've made another video last year uh, using my 100% acrylic yarn and to make this spiral I haven't changed the side or haven't changed the uh, rows. I've made that uh, spiral with two rows but I haven't cut the yarn and then have started up my new row. Here I have cut the yarn after making every row and then I've started up the new row. So if you don't want to cut your yarn and uh, you want to go ahead with your pattern and you don't want to cut your yarn and you want to make the whole of the pattern, you can check out that video. The link for this uh, for that another video is into this uh, description box down below or you can check out the i button. Um, you can find the link over there as well. So that's the uh, video I've made last year with my 100% acrylic yarn. This one I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And that's it. So let's begin. Okay, so for this one, take your yarn and now I'm gonna make a slip knot here. And then I'm gonna chain up 40, 40. Now, if you want to make it in a bigger or a medium size, I've made this in a small size. If you want to go ahead, you can always add up your chains. Now, there is no multiplication of chains for this pattern. So you can add up as many chains as you want. Here, I'm going to take 40 chains, about four zero. And remember, I'm using three and a half mm of the hooks. So if you're using another hook size, say, for example, if you're having your four mm of the hook or your five mm of the hook, then your chains will definitely be bigger and your project will be bigger. So... For this one, this particular one, I've used my three and a half mm of the hook and I'm going to chain up 40 here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Here it is. I have my 40 chains. I'm going to chain up one more here. And now I'm going to cut my yarn. And now I will secure my this stitch. So remember, I've made 40 chains here and then another one only to secure my this last stitch and that's it now we're going to change the color of our yarn you can take any side of it okay so for this one i'm going to insert my hook into my this first chain like this and we'll grab the yarn my second color and now chain one here now we are making this chain one only to secure over this yarn here and that's it now here i'm gonna make four double crochets into each chain so for that one here we have made this chain one only to secure this yarn this is not any stitch now i'm gonna yarn over and will insert my hook into my this first chain like this and grab your yarn and make your first double crochet here so yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops and make another three double crochets so your second double crochet your third double crochet and fourth double crochet here it is now we're gonna take the second chain so we i'm gonna go to this second chain and here again i'm gonna yarn over and we'll make another four double crochets into this one chain. So it's one, two, three, and four. Again, we're gonna go to the next chain and into that one, we are gonna make another four double crochets. So that's 
one, two, three, and four. And now, keep on doing four double crochets into each chain. And I'm going to meet you at the end here. So for this round, round number one, we're going to have four double crochets into each chain and remember there is no counting because uh, uh, you can have as many chains as you want and after that for your round number one you can have four double crochets into each chain so there is no counting you can take as many chains you want i, I have taken my 40 chains here and if you have taken 40 chains just make four double crochets into each chain and i'm gonna meet you after my this raw raw number one okay so here it is after my raw number one i'm gonna cut my yarn and we'll secure my this last stitch like this and now again we're gonna change the color now this one the chains i have made with my white color and this one is my blue color just for your reference and now i'm gonna take my pink color remember not the baby pink i'm gonna use the hot pink so i'm gonna use the pink color now so here it is i've got my pink color and now we're gonna go you can go anywhere you can take any uh, of your side there is no particular side i'm just gonna start up from here where i've just started up so i'm just gonna take this side and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch this is my first stitch and for our round number two i'm gonna attach my this pink color yarn and now here i'm gonna chain one now this chain one is again only to attach our this yarn now here we're gonna have one single crochet on each stitch for our round number two so for that one i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch for one more time and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make my first single crochet here. now again into the next one insert your hook grab your yarn and make one single crochet into the next one again insert your hook and make your one single crochet and now keep on doing one single crochet on each stitch from the previous round or previous row and i'm gonna meet you after my this row and here it is i finish up my row number two one single crochet on each stitch and now i'm gonna cut my this yarn my pink yarn and i'm secure this <coughs> like this enough as i finish up here i will insert my hook into this my last stitch and will take my this last color which is my yellow color now for that one my raw number three i'm gonna insert my this yarn and i'm gonna attach it like this and now chain one now always remember i've made this chain one to secure my this yarn this is not a stitch this is not a stitch it is just to secure my this last yarn <clears throat> now for this last row row number three we're gonna make one single crochet on each stitch backwards so for that one take the next stitch go to the next stitch your back stitch and insert your hook into that back stitch now grab your yarn and you're gonna have two loops now yarn over and pull your yarn through two loops again go to your uh, next stitch the back one insert your hook grab your yarn and make one single crochet and now keep on doing your one single crochet on each stitch and all stitches will be going backwards remember we are not going in front we are going in back so keep on doing your one single crochet on each stitch backwards and i'm gonna meet you at the end of this round round number three or round number three and your pattern will build up like this so just keep on doing your one single crochet on each stitch backwards for this round round number three 
and here it is my row number three is done and now i'm gonna cut a little bit longer yarn here for my this last one and i'm gonna secure my this last stitch and now have your needle and just make a little knot here i'm gonna go at the back and we'll make a little knot here So that my this yarn will be secure and now I will insert my yarn in this way and will create a little loop here. So for that one, so that I can hang this um, wind spinner anywhere I want. So for that one I have made this loop here and now here. I'm going to make another knot. So now this loop is secure. And now put your this loose ends in the remaining yarn like this and I'm going to put all these loose ends in all this four and here as well this one as well. So I'm going to put all these loose ends in and I'm going to meet you after that. And then we will make a um, tassel here, this one. We will make a tassel here. And here it is, I've put my all loose ends in. And now you can just arrange this plate. Just flatten up this plate so that it will be a spiral. It will take its position. Just like this and it's all done now now for this tassel I'm gonna take all four colors so take all four colors like this and just arrange them and now take your hand and Put your fingers in this way and now i'm gonna circle up this all four yarns about 10 times so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten like this and now i'm gonna cut my yarn from here leave it and now i'm gonna take the outer color the yellow color so here I've taken the yellow color, whatever color you have been using, or if you want to take any other color, you can take any other color. I'm going to take this yellow color here and I'm going to insert my, this yellow color in this way, like this. And now just make a little knot here. this leave it and now just go somewhere here and tighten up your yarn around your tassel That's it, and now got a little bit longer yarn. Have your needle, and make a knot here. You can take any yarn, make a knot here. 
so that this will be all secure yes I'm gonna make another knot here on top here it is it's all secure now we're gonna attach this tassel here it's all attached enough insert your this loose ends in just gonna cut my yarn and now this one cut your this tassel enough even of your this edges yeah this the tassel is ready and now again just give your bin spiral shape for one more time and here it is my wind spiral is ready and it looks like this and i hope you have liked my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye